Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It is our mathematics lesson on the topic algebraic expression which involves solving linear and quadratic equations. So our first example is a past cases equation done in the year 2011, paper 1, question number 6. So it reads, simplify the expression 4x minus 9x cubed divided by 3x squared minus 4x minus 4. So let me start by handling the numerator. So my numerator, my numerator has uh, 4x minus 9x cubed. So if you look at this particular um, expression, it cannot be solved directly unless we factor out the x so that we can create a difference of two squares. So let me start by factoring out x because it is common on both terms. So of course, if you take 4x divided by x, you'll just obtain 4 minus 9x cubed divided by x. So the x will cancel with one of the x's so that you remain with 9x squared. Now you can see 4 can be made into 2 squared, then 9 can be made into 3 squared so that we can obtain a difference of 2 squares. So this is the same as saying x into 4 is the same as saying 2 squared then minus 9 is the same as saying 3 squared, then x is the same as saying uh, x squared. So this can further be rewritten as x into uh, some larger bracket. So I'll simply take uh, 2 squared, then minus 3x, then squared, because the square is common on both uh, 3 and x. So this is exactly what we call the difference of Two squares. So this is one of the squares, then this is the other square. So we have a property which deals with the difference of two squares, which states that whenever you have x squared minus y squared, it's simply the same as saying taking x plus y, then you multiply by x minus y. So I'm going to apply this property here so that it can help me to break, to break down uh, the numbers that are within the bracket. So this is the same as saying uh, x uh, into, so this will be x into, um, uh -huh, x, that is uh, 2, sorry, so this will be 2 plus 3x, then multiplied by 2 minus 3x. Just in the same way that we have, if you have x squared minus y squared, you take x plus y, then x minus y. Similarly to x, that is 2 squared minus 3x squared, you just take 2 plus 3x, then 2 minus 3x. Then, of course, we had an x outside the bracket. So that will be the simplification of the numerator. Then we move to the denominator. We move to the <coughs> denominator. So the denominator, we are given a quadratic expression in the form 3x squared minus 4x, then minus 4. So this is a quadratic uh, expression because it is in the form ax squared plus bx plus c. So whenever we have a quadratic equation, we can actually simplify it by use of factorization. So clearly, you can see that the value of a will actually be 3. The value of b will be negative 4. Then the value of c will be negative 4. So we'll find the product and, of course, the sum. So the product, we usually take the values of a and c, which is our value of a is 3, then we multiply by the value of c is negative 4. So the product of the numbers will actually be negative 12. Then the sum of numbers should be uh, the value of b, which directly from this question, the value of b will be negative 4. So we want to look for two numbers. When you multiply, you get negative 12. When you add, you get negative 4. So to get the two numbers, we usually check the factors of the product. So let's look at the factors of um, uh, 12. Let's first of all ignore the negative. So of course, uh, the factors will be 1, we have 2. 2 goes into 12 6 times. Then of course, uh, 2 into 6 3 times. Then 3 into 3 1 time. So the factors of 12 are 2, 2, and 6. So we need to combine these factors in such a way that when you add them or when you subtract them, you get a negative 4. So of course, if I pick 2 and um, uh, 3, they will give me 6. So the factors will be 6 and 2. Because if you take 6 minus 2, 
you'll actually obtain 4. So the factors are actually the 6 and the 2. But we need to identify which one will have the positive and which one will be will have the negative. So you can see the product sh should be a negative number. So that means one of the numbers should be negative and the other one to be positive. Then the sum is negative 4. So that means for us to find a sum which is negative, we need to have the negative on the larger number because the final answer of the sum usually takes the value of the larger number. So the numbers are actually 2 and negative 6. So if you take 2 multiplied by negative 6, you'll obtain negative 12. If you obtain 2 plus negative 6, you'll obtain negative 4. So the numbers are 2 and negative 6. So these two numbers, we are going to substitute them in the region having the value of b and retain the other positions. So this one will be uh, 3x squared. So this position is having our b. So that means any value of b that you take, you have to uh, multiply by x. So this one will be plus 2, then we add the x, then uh, minus 6, then of course we add the x, then we add the value of c, which was negative 4, which was negative 4. Then we look for the common factors between uh, our first two terms and our last two terms. But the common factors have to be found in such a way that uh, we shall have the values within the bracket which are similar. So if we check 3x squared and 2x, what, what is common is actually the x. So I'll factor out x. So 3x squared divided by x, I'll get um, 3x. Then uh, 2x divided by x, I'll get a positive 2. So if I want also another number in the bracket which is positive, because the 6 has a negative and the 4 has a negative, I'll factor out the negative so that I get the positive numbers within the bracket. So uh, if we, you check 6 and 4, the common factor is actually 2. So I'll factor out negative 2. So if you take negative 6x divided by negative 2, you'll get a positive 3x. Then if you take negative 4 divided by negative 2, you'll get a positive 2. Now you can see the numbers within the bracket are exactly the same. Then you just pick one of the numbers. So I'll pick x. I combine it with negative 2 to form one of the factors. Then 3x plus 2 and 3x plus 2, I just pick one of the uh, factors. So 3x plus 2. So this is the simplification of the denominator. Now, I want to combine the whole thing, so the whole sum, the whole sum, I'll simply take the numerator divided by the denominator. So, my values of the numerator were x uh, into uh, 2 plus 3x, then multiplied by 2 minus 3x. Then I divide by my values on the denominator, which have simplified to, uh, that is, uh, x minus 2, then into 3x plus 2. Remember the instructions are that we simplify the expression. So we check if we have any values which are exactly the same. So remember we have 2 plus 3x. Here we have 3x plus 2. So I can rewrite this particular numerator so that it becomes, that is the denominator. So this is just the same as saying x into uh, 2 plus 3x, then multiplied by 2 minus 3x, then divided by uh, x minus 2, then 3x plus 2 is just the same as saying 2 plus 3x. So I'm doing that so that I create similar factors on the numerator and the denominator so that they can, um, that is, cancel out. So you can see uh, 2 plus 3x is common both on the numerator and on the denominator. So if you look at 2 minus 3x and x minus 2, they cannot simplify. So my final answer would remain to be uh, the numerator, we have x into uh, 2 minus 3x, then in the denominator, we have x minus 2. So this cannot be simplified beyond that particular level, and therefore, this is the final answer. Then we look at our second example, which is also a past KCC question done in the year 1997, paper 1, question number 2. So in this question, we are instructed to find the greatest common factor of x cubed, uh, y squared and 4xy power to the power of 4. So remember the greatest common factor, the other name is simply the GCD. So let's look at the GCD of um, x uh, cubed, y squared and 
4x uh, uh, y to the power of 4 so we want to find the greatest common divisors the greatest common divisors of these two terms so of course the first uh, common divisor of course is x so x goes into x cubed x squared times so this term would remain as x squared y squared then x goes into 4xy to the power of 4 the x and x will cancel so that you remain with 4 to the uh, power that is 4y to the power of 4 then the other common uh, factor of course is y but we want the greatest common factors uh, so we can factor out the y squared because we are looking at the greatest common divisors not the least so let me check uh, for y so i'll simply factor out y squared so the y squared will cancel with the y squared so that I, I just remain with x squared then the y squared into y to the power of 4 i'll remain with a 4y squared so at this stage there is no any other common factor therefore the gcd or the greatest the greatest common common factor will simply be x times y squared so which is x y squared so we are through with the, the first part of the question because we are, we are instructed to find the gcd or the greatest common factor of this and this term then we are told hence factorize completely the expression x cubed y squared minus 4x y to the power of 4 so whenever you are told hence it simply means that you have to use your initial results in the final stage but when the question says hence or otherwise it mean it simply means you have a choice maybe to use a different method in the second part but whenever you are told hence this one you are tied you must use the answer in the initial stages therefore we are told hence factorize completely the expression so we are given the expression x uh, cubed y squared then minus 4x y to the power of 4 so of course the greatest common divisor will be x y squared so i'll simply factor out x y squared so if i factor out if i take x cubed y squared divided by x y squared y squared and y squared will cancel out then x will go into x cubed uh, x squared times so this this term will remain as uh, x uh, squared y and y will cancel out then minus x into x one then y it will go there y squared so i'd remain with four uh, x and x will cancel out so y cubed y power four divided by y squared i'd remain with y squared so this is the uh, factorized uh, equation of the second part but the question is factorize completely the instructions are that we factorize completely if you look at these two terms you can see we can have a difference of two squares so this can be written as x y squared into uh, so this is the same as x squared minus 4 can be written as 2 uh, squared y squared which is the same as x y squared uh, into uh, x squared minus 2y then squared then i use some larger brackets so these are difference of two squares so the final answer would remain to be x y squared uh, into uh, so i apply the rule of the difference of two squares so i'll have x uh, plus 2y then multiplied by x minus 2y so this will be the final completely uh, factorized or simplified value then we look at our third example which is also a past case equation done in 2010 paper one question number 12. so it reads simplify the expression uh, x squared plus x minus 4xy minus 4y so let me start with the numerator so my numerator my numerator has uh, x squared plus x then minus 4xy minus 4y so you can see the first two terms they have x in common then the second two terms they have y in common so let me factor out the x in the first two terms so i'll have uh, x into uh, so this will be x plus 1 then i'll factor out negative 4y because it is common so minus 4y into so negative 4xy so of course divided by negative 4y 
4 and 4 will cancel, y and y will cancel, negative and negative will cancel, so I'd remain with positive x. Then negative 4y divided by negative 4y, I'll get a positive 1. So you can see we have x plus 1 and also x plus 1. Whenever you have two terms uh, repeating or recurring, you simply pick one of the factors. So this will be x minus 4y. You pick this one and this one. Then you just pick one of the factors that are uh, recurring or repeating themselves. So that will be the simplification of the numerator. Then I move to my denominator. So denominator, deno <coughs> denominator. So on the denominator, I'm given, I'm given uh, x plus 1, then into uh, 4y squared minus xy. Already you can see I already have an x plus 1 on the numerator. So let me play around with the second term so that I can, I can get my x minus 4y. So let me start by rewriting the second term. So this will be 4y squared minus xy then into x plus 1. So this one is just similar to this. Only that I've chosen to start with uh, the last term. Then I follow it. I multiply it by the second term. So this is the same as saying. So because I have my x minus 4y on the numerator, I also need to find an x minus 4y on the denominator. So the only way of achieving that, you can see the negative is on the 4. So the only way I can reverse signs here is by factoring out a negative. Then I also uh, factor out the y from this particular equation. So I want to factor out negative, uh, negative y so that I'll have, if you take a uh, 4y squared divided by negative y, you'll have a negative um, 4y. Then negative xy divided by negative y. Negative and negative will give you a positive y and y will cancel, so that we remain with the positive uh, x. Then into, of course, the second term, x plus 1. So you can see in the numerator, I have x minus 4y. So this can also be written as x minus 4y. I'm just starting with x, then ending with negative 4y. So this is the same as negative y into uh, x minus 4y. Then I multiply by the second term, x plus 1. Once I've simplified both the numerator and the denominator, I combine the whole sum. So the whole <coughs> will simply be, I take the numerator, the simplified numerator, which is x minus 4y, then multiplied by x plus 1. Then I divide by the simplified uh, denominator, which is actually negative y into x minus 4y, then multiplied by x, that is x plus 1. So my x plus 1 and x plus 1 will cancel out. My x minus 4y and x minus 4y will cancel out. So that the final answer will remain to be uh, 1 over negative y, which is just the same as saying negative 1 over y. Negative 1 over y. So this will be the final answer of the equation. It can also be written as following the laws of indices. You can also talk of negative y power negative 1. Although even if you leave it at this particular point, there is no harm. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I uh, expect more examples on this particular chapter in our next videos. Thank you very much.